CTV News at 6 with Hudson Mack. Good evening. The Premier has lost one of her closest aides in the wake of the scandal over ethnic voters. Kim Hackstead resigned as Christy Clark's Deputy Chief of Staff late this afternoon. The resignation has been accepted after she has sent a memo suggesting the Liberals should use public funds to win ethnic votes in the May election. The Premier has launched an investigation into whether any government money was spent on the plan. But as our legislature reporter Stephen Andrews shows us, the Premier is trying to play down rumors of outright dissension in Liberal ranks. As the Premier opens a lodge for cancer patients, she is dogged with questions about her leadership. Do you feel your leadership is threatened at this point? No, I don't think so, you know. I mean, I think things, things happen in politics. People make mistakes and they make bad judgment calls. And clearly that's what happened at the staff level. Except the bad judgment call in this case appears to come from Kim Hackstad, the Premier's Deputy Chief of Staff, who resigned late today in the wake of a scandal. A plan outlined in this leaked document to use government resources to gain ethnic votes for the Liberal Party. It's a strategy that looked for political wins by using historical wrongs done to ethnic communities to gain favour. What happened was inappropriate. There's no question about it. And, you know, as soon as the information came forward, the next day... I issued a full apology on behalf of, you know, if anything has been done wrong. The Premier has also launched an investigation led by the head of the public service to see if any government money was spent on the plan. The scandal has created dissension in Liberal ranks and questions about Clark's leadership. One MLA is calling for the Premier to fire those involved. That's a good start. Let me tell you, that's a good start. That will send a message to the culture within either the Liberal Party or the public service that that type of behavior is not going to be accepted within government. And how much responsibility does she bear? She's the leader. She bears a lot of responsibility. He'd stop short of calling for Clark to step down, but Liberal supporters calling into CFAX 1070 are not holding back. They obviously picked the wrong person for the leadership of the party. I think Kevin Falcon would have been a better bet. Instead of it being a convincing uh, NDP win, it may be a landslide uh, NDP win, which would not be good for British Columbia. The NDP smells blood. And with weeks before the election, the party is tying the scandal directly to the Premier. I certainly think uh, Kim Hackstead, the uh, Deputy Chief of Staff and Premier Clark's office, they've been uh, political allies for, for decades, going back to the 1990s. It's hard to imagine that Ms. Hackstead could have undertaken this elaborate planning process without the Premier knowing about it. Thank you, Honourable Speaker. And the NDP promises to keep raising the issue during question period when the House resumes on Monday. By then, the Premier may have more answers. But whether they will be enough to satisfy the opposition, voters or her own caucus remains to be seen. Stephen Andrew joins us now with more. Stephen, since uh, we first brought the story at five, Kim Hackstead has resigned. Given what John Horgan says, the close ties to the Premier, can Christy Clark survive this? Well, that's going to be the big question. I mean, whether the uh, Liberals are going to take that risk and uh, ask her or try to push her out for a, a campaign in May, the vote in May, uh, is probably very unlikely. But there are many Liberals, Hudson, that are very upset with the way that this whole situation has been handled. Not so much the document, but the fact that it's been handled in a very very amateur way and behind closed doors they are openly criticizing uh, the handling of this. And the challenge getting into the campaign for the Liberals is that given what this, uh, this document says, anything they do uh, to try to win the so-called ethnic vote will be met with cynicism. Yeah, I mean, anything they do is going to be tainted, although they're going to try to paint this as something that they've been looking at for a long time, especially when they uh, are planning to offer an apology for the Chinese head tax uh, later this month. But now, uh, I would imagine they're probably going to put that off, but the Liberals are trying to say they've been working on it for a year. Now, as far as the investigation into this whole situation goes, the uh, NDP has some concerns. They say that uh, the scope of the investigation only lies within government. They see it needs to be opened up to an independent investigation so that the Liberal Party itself can be part of that investigation. Hudson. All right, we'll see what happens next week or this weekend. Stephen, thank you. You're welcome.